Um, I want to kind of make this as real a real world example as possible. Um, can, do you have any even re recent customers or ongoing projects you sort of can highlight, but but also not just highlight, but kind of walk us through sort of adoption, carrying out the the program, you know, upgrading equipment, all that type of stuff. Yeah. So obviously, innovations played a huge role into this. I mean, information going to the cloud. Uh, one of the case studies that we had just recently done was with Utilisource. Uh, and on, there are two different companies, but Cylinder Construction was the startup of this company. And they saw these guidelines, regulations coming that were driving this. So they developed their own utility locating company mm -hmm. uh, called Utilisource. And what Utilisource is doing is they're going out and doing all of their own locates before the Cylinder Construction crew comes in to do the HDD work. And what they're doing is they started generating maps based off of this. So they started basically from the format of utility locating, but then started developing as they were doing the work, they were building the assets right. in there too. And there was multiple different use cases for them as well, because as a contractor, having something in digital form allowed them to get paid quicker on those job sites. Right. So yeah. That was, that was a huge benefit. People can actually see it. But then from the safety aspect, they were able to go in and start generating these maps for small cities, municipalities, and those municipalities saw the value in it because now they have that map. They have that digital view of everything that's in the ground. Okay, so this is this is kind of a key thing for me. I mean, I've, I've got a bit of a sales background in that in business development, so it's a different technology, but it's, it's sort of the same principle. Are you laying all this out as a value add to them or are they taking on the technology and then they're letting you know, hey, guess what else we're using it for? So it was kind of a joint venture with them. So we started oh, okay. talking this through. Uh, and like I said, I mean, we started developing some of this technology before there were guidelines and regulations and it wasn't adopted because there wasn't anything driving it. Uh, and that's something that we see in all of this underground industry is if something's not a requirement, they're not going to do it. And that's where the best right. practices and those things came in, uh, just to ensure that those things are being done correctly. You know, and that's, that's a tough thing with regulations is because, and it, I think sometimes people see the kind of the back and forth between regulation and non-regulation yep. as if it's a negative thing. It's, yep. it's actually an argument that should always be happening. Yep. Do you look at this? Uh, I mean, I'm sure all of us have a list of regulations we think should not be in place. In this case, it's hard to see how this isn't a good thing. No, and I think people see that. I mean, they're buying into it. Uh, I mean, we're seeing more and more cities looking at these guidelines that are being set out by other states and seeing that level of adoption grow at a, at a faster rate. So uh, going back to Utilisource then, if the the adoption of this, is this, I mean, I, I'd, I would imagine in their business, they're already pretty capable. Yep. Um, so is it a day adoption? Is it an hour? I mean, if they have multiple operators, what, what would be the rollout for that? It, it is pretty high level as far as adoption when you start looking at it. Okay. It, it does take some manpower, uh, but it pays dividends in the end. And I think that's whether they're able to see that. And Steve Selenrick, the president of Selenrick Construction, is actually on the board of CGA. So CGA is the Common Ground Alliance that's kind of helped drive this this whole mapping process. Uh, and they've done multiple different use case presentations at that trade show and talked through uh, basically the kind of the features and benefits of what they're doing. Uh, and a lot of those guys, you know, as a contractor, they see that getting paid quicker is a, is a much better deal right. as far as turnaround. But they're also seeing what they're able to do with this. So. Think, for instance, where, where they're putting in fiber today, they may be putting power in two weeks later, right? Right, yeah. But they're also able to leverage the data, uh, not only from the rigs, so like telematics information that's coming in. They can look at that type of information. They're able to look at this job took us this long, and they're getting much more accurate on their bids as well.